What is going on guys? What's poppin'? So today we are going to talk about Derek White's return from injury to the San Antonio Spurs against the Memphis Grizzlies on Saturday. Um, it was one of our worst losses of the season, arguably. And um, maybe I shouldn't even say that because clearly the back-to-back -back just had us on some dead legs. And it was interesting because offensively, Derek White, the guy who was you know, gassed because he just hadn't played most of the season dealing with the injury, he was kind of the freshest guy on offense and the guy that looked like you know he hadn't lost a step. So first we'll talk about some of the good things that happened in the game with Derek White. And there were a lot of solid things. And then we'll talk a little bit more about some of the negative. But uh, I don't think it's anything we have to worry too much about. So first off, his shooting stroke looked really good. He was like 3 of 6 from 3. He had 6 of 11 from the floor. He had 18 points in 22 minutes, really efficient scoring the ball. He looked good when he was attacking the basket. His three-point shot looked as smooth as ever, so that was really good. Um, and as a matter of fact, he was a little sharper on offense than just everybody else out there. I mean, his passing was um, kind of reminding me that maybe he's the best passer on the team. He was just making some quick um prompt passes the guys weren't even really ready for but it did end up in some assists so he had a few assists he had a couple steals but we'll, we'll get to defense and I think the Spurs kind of struggled as a unit maybe because they were just tired adjusting to him more than he struggled adjusting to playing within the system because he was awesome he, he wasn't hesitating shooting the ball and sometimes that's what we we'll worry about with Derek White and some of the young guys and um especially coming back from injury first game back he wasn't hesitating now he did look a little gassed at times and that's why he only played 22 minutes which I, I think it's perfectly fine not only has he missed most of the season due to injury but it was a fractured toe he re-injured that toe and th that keeps you off your feet and so your cardio it, and the shape you're in is going to take a hit so I think it's good that shooting the ball he had his legs under him um on defense he just didn't now he did make a couple really nice steals and he did struggle with um, moving his feet. He, he just wasn't moving his feet as quick as we're used to with him on defense. It's interesting. He looked a little slow on defense, but he did not look slow when he was attacking the basket. So typically that's something we would be a little worried about, but knowing that it's his first game back, we're, I'm not the slightest bit concerned about that, to be honest. Um, it's going to take him a while. It's going to take him a couple weeks to get back into playing shape. But I think Pop's going to do a good job at managing his minutes. Hopefully he doesn't overdo it because once he's back in shape, he definitely needs the playing time, especially if he's going to be aggressive like he was. But I think overall it was a very good performance. He hit a, a big three off the bench with like, I don't know, five minutes left in the game or something, and he cut the, the lead to like five points. So that was kind of the last time we were, we were in the game, maybe with like three or four minutes left. They had a decent chance to come back and get the win. But it's like any time we got any momentum in that game, I mean, the Grizzlies just started knocking down open threes, right? So it was a bit frustrating. Um, defensively, we were just a step slow, like I said, back to back. But at the same time, you know, Derek White kind of contributed to that. Now, I know we played the Grizzlies again. It's Monday, so we play them tonight. I think that's another home game for us. And hopefully we have a little bit more energy. We had a couple days off. We had, well, really just Sunday off, but we had a day in between now, and hopefully we'll look like a different team. Look into a little more about how Derek White fits with the team. So it looks like at least until he gets his feet back under him, he's going to be coming off the bench. Now, I don't know if that's Pop's long-term plan with him or if he just wants him to, you know, kind of find his, his footing, get back into playing shape, play a little less minutes, that sort of thing. Um I, I kind of like it, but I, I mean, if he's really going to start balling out like that, he probably should be starting. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not, right? Because if you're going to put up 18 points off the bench, that's that's good. Um, at the same time, I do like the fact that Lonnie Walker is in the starting lineup. So maybe, maybe it's, it's all the way it is. At the end of the day, he's going to have to figure out how he fits it with the team. I do seem to think that we're better off with a nine-man rotation. And that's the bench unit looking like Patty Mills at guard, um, Rudy Gay at power forward, Jakob Pertl at center, and then you either had that second kind of guard forward, and it's been Devin Vassell, but now it would be Derek White. I, I know we only gave Vassell like 10 minutes, and we gave like Trey Lyles 10 minutes as well. 
So it's going to be interesting moving forward what we do with that. I'm going to make a video as well about Devin Vassell, so we'll talk a little bit more about that. But, you know, Derek White is obviously going to demand a, a rotation spot, and um, and he's one of the best players on the team, so he, he absolutely deserves that to be handed to him. Uh, we can't forget that he was one of the, the major reasons why we were so good in the bubble. He was balling out then. Um, he was balling out last night, so hopefully we can look forward to seeing more of that from him right moving forward. So, guys, I think it's really nothing but good things from Derek White. Like I said, as he gets back into better playing shape, we'll, we'll expect to see a little bit more from, from him defensively. But uh, that, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, one thing we are going to have to look for at some point in the future, are we going to be able to keep all these guards? Is it going to be DeJounte Murray, Patty Mills, Derek White, Lonnie Walker, um, Keldon Johnson can play the three, but he's kind of like a guard too. Um, Trey Jones. Got all this depth there, and you're lacking the really talented big guy. Um, LaMarcus Aldridge isn't super tradable right now, but you know if we packaged him with Derek White or a draft pick, you know I, I'm not too excited about the idea of moving on from Derek White because he's still pretty young. But um, but I don't know what his upside is at this point. He is 26 years old, which is young. But he's probably starting to hit his peak over the next couple of years, right? And at some point, I do I do think, could we package him like we did George Hill and a draft pick and potentially get like a higher draft pick in, in next year's draft or maybe the year after and, and get that big guy we, we kind of desperately need that we missed out on this year from not being able to trade up to get James Wiseman, right? So just kind of want to hear Spurs fans' thoughts on that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the notification bell for some more Spurs content, and it's coming to you every week. And that's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.